Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Can the Prime Minister confirm that he insisted on the policy that would have seen a $20 cut to the Medicare rebate for short consultations against the concerns of the Treasurer and the then Minister for Health? I call the Honourable the Prime Minister. Ma Madam Speaker, uh, again, again, I say, again I say to uh, members opposite that all decisions of the Expenditure Review Committee are unanimous. All decisions are unanimous. Now, lots of, lots of things are canvassed, as you'd expect. Uh, lots of issues and lots of options are debated. But, Madam Speaker, all decisions of the Expenditure Review Member Committee are unanimous. But, Madam Speaker, it's interesting. It's, in, Prime Minister has it's, 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 it's interesting, Madam Speaker. What we have seen from members opposite today is a complete fixation with Canberra insider <laughs> Beltway gossip. <laughs> Madam Speaker, they, they are welcome. They are welcome to their insider we'll fixations. Have on my uh, they are welcome to all this tawdry politics. But, Madam Speaker, what the Australian people want is a government which is focused on the people of Australia. Yeah. Which every day is making good decisions that will improve the welfare of the people of Australia. And, Madam Speaker, every day the that's exactly McMahon what this government is doing. Is Just in the last ten days or so, Madam Speaker, we have lowered the screening threshold for foreign purchases of agricultural land, a problem that was completely ignored by members opposite. Madam Speaker, just last week uh, we, we have a way forward uh, for the future submarine project where members opposite sat on their hands for six years. Madam Speaker, just last week we committed federal money to a public transport infrastructure project in the ACT right. because the ACT Labor Party is at least prepared to privatise, unlike yes. members opposite That's who right. won't do anything, even cooperate in a study of the nuclear cycle in South Australia. Madam Speaker, and just this week uh, we have got on with the job of protecting Australia uh, from the threat uh, of death cult terrorism, Madam Speaker. Every day we are doing what is necessary for the people of Australia. Last week, Madam Speaker, I was in Tasmania, I was in Tasmania announcing five new dams uh, that will set up the agricultural industries of Tasmania for the future. Just just on Saturday, Madam Speaker, I was in Darwin opening a $100 million export meat processing facility. It never would have happened under Labor. They closed the beef export industry down, Madam Speaker. That's what they did. You never would have those sorts of investments under a carbon tax. You never would have those sorts of investments without the free trade deals that we have negotiated. You never would have had those sorts of investments when they're closing down the live cattle trade in panic at a television program. Madam Speaker, they can play politics all they like, but the people of Australia want good government, and that's what they're getting every day from this coalition. I call